Do you think Vince McMahon Sr. made a mistake in not turning superstar Billy Graham face and giving him a longer run as champ? To me, he seemed to have it all. He had the charisma of Dusty Rhodes, the body of Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. <laughs> ah, my tongue. I'm just, I guess I'm, I've got Superman on the brain or something. And was at least as good a wrestler as Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we, we, all, we all love your tongue, Alice. Oh, and, goodness uh, gracious. <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, actually, that that was a mistake. Um, Billy Graham had gotten over to such an extent, especially in the Northeast, that he was one of the great drawing cards of all time. And and truthfully, the fact that superstar Billy Graham was the first heel champion in WWF history that actually drew huge crowds consistently for a long period of time when they were built around babyface uh, ethnic champs like Pedro Morales and Bruno, who is untouchable. Bruno, about, about what year are we talking time. about here for, for Superstar Billy Graham? <clears throat> Superstar 77, 78. Okay. Um, unfortunately, Vince Sr. did not deviate from the program. He put the belt on Bruno, on uh, Billy Graham off of Bruno in, in uh, I believe, 77. And he had uh, uh, basically acknowledged that it, or decided that Backlund would win it in 78. And I don't know why. I don't know why in hindsight. This may be one of the only mistakes that Vince Sr. ever made in his business that he didn't follow the crowd because superstar Billy Graham was one of the first cool heels that the people wanted to support. And he could have been switched babyface. And this led to actually, and, and it's been documented, to Billy Graham's um, depression, getting out of the business for a period of time, uh, drug abuse, etc. Because all of a sudden, this guy's the biggest drawing card in professional wrestling in the industry, and he wasn't allowed to run with it. And it fucked him up mentally. And I think Billy has said as such in his biography um it, it was a mistake it it really was and uh, you know there there's the old uh, uh legend that i've heard and i wasn't there firsthand but that you know when when vince senior had decided that bill that bob Backlund was going to be the guy the all-american hero uh he got the you know the uh uh, uh the vouching of for Bob Bob Backlund from Sam Muchnick and Eddie Graham and etc. This guy can be an All American hero. That's what he was looking for after so many years of the ethnic champions. He decided to go with it, and there was the you know Vince Senior used to take uh, all of his top guys to dinner after the Garden, and I heard this. I don't know whether it's true that. You know, uh, Bruno and some of the other guys said, you'll never make Bob Backlund, you know, a drawing card. And Vince Sr. said, oh, you don't think so? And so for the next five years, Bob Backlund was pushed down everybody's throat. <laughs> and I like Bob. Uh, he wasn't the greatest performer. He was certainly an all-American wrestling champion hero, but he wasn't the greatest performer in the ring. Was it a spite push or was it just what Vince Sr. had decided on? Nobody knows. Vince Sr.'s dead. But Billy Graham was the biggest draw in professional wrestling at that point in time, and he wasn't allowed to run with it as long as he could have, and that was a huge mistake in my opinion. And that, you know, fucked a variety of people's heads up, including Billy Graham's himself. So, yes, it was a mistake. He should have been turned babyface. He should have gotten to have a run like that. And there was a couple more years of huge business left in superstar Billy Graham before anything else would have happened. And it was a mistake. 